Come and see us at Crinkley Bottom at Cricket St Thomas near Chard in Somerset. It's Britain's first TV theme park. Visit Mr Blobby's house. See the wonderful wildlife parkland. Enjoy family fun in Blobbyland. Crinkley Bottom is 20 minutes from Junction 25 on the M5 and 10 minutes from the A303. If you grew up in the UK during the 90s, then you surely know who Mr Blobby is. And if you didn't, let's take an expedition through the strange popularity of the character and the theme park based around him. Noel's House Party was a highly popular TV show on the BBC shown on Saturday nights for eight years, started in 1992. Set in the fictional village of Crinkley Bottom and hosted by Noel Edmonds, the show featured a variety of celebrity guests and regular segments such as the Gunge Tank and Gotcha. The show even received a BAFTA award and is regarded as the best Saturday night entertainment show of the 90s. If you don't come to the house party, the house party might just come to you. Good night! During the height of its popularity, Noel Edmonds, who owned the rights to the show and the characters, wanted to build a theme park. The first was located in the quiet village of Cricket St Thomas in Somerset, near where Noel Edmonds resided. The estate, which would be the location of the future Blobbyland, was opened to the public in 1967 as the Cricket St Thomas Wildlife Park, and was home to all sorts of animals, including elephants. Over the next decade, shops, cafes, restaurants and a miniature railway were added to the park and by the time the 1980s had arrived, the park was one of Somerset's most popular tourist attractions. During 1993, when House Party was one of the most popular television shows in the country, a deal was created with the park owner, John Taylor, to turn the park into Mr Blobby's hometown and the village of Crinkley Bottom. The wildlife section of the park would remain, but multiple attractions would be added, including a planned replica of the Great House from the TV show. Millions of pounds were put into the transformation of Cricket St Thomas. John Taylor and Noel Edmonds revealed the plans in February 1994 by signing the contracts and work began on the construction of the park, and the first attractions planned were Mr Blobby's house and Noddy in Toy Town. After opening unofficially in May 1994, the park was officially open in the first week of July. I actually think that Crinkley Bottom at Cricket St Thomas will outlive House Party. It will probably outlive Noel Edmonds. The park was an odd mix of Mr Blobby, Noddy and a wildlife park, with areas such as the Crinkley Bottom Safari Ride, the renamed Miniature Railway as the Crinkley Bottom Railway, Mr Blobby Shows, Mr Blobby Shops and of course the Mr Blobby's house named Dun Blobbin. Mr Blobby was one of the most famous characters in the UK during the 90s for some reason. Love him or hate him, he was featured heavily in a primetime Saturday TV show. He had a number one music single... and he even had his own theme park now. In its opening days, the house was located on the outskirts of the park and was built in the quarry that was previously home to the monkeys as part of the safari park. The house was built out of chicken wire and polystyrene and you would be able to enter the house itself. The house was the most photographed and famous part of the Crinkley Bottom Park. People living close to the park condemned the house as they could hear the blobby theme and the doorbell shouting blobby 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 from their homes. The house featured comical aspects throughout as you travelled through each of its rooms. Oddly, the other advertised attraction for the opening year didn't feature Blobby at all, but instead featured Noddy, who unlike Mr Blobby, was a timeless character. This walkthrough attraction featured different scenes showing different Noddy stories. While the scenes were behind barriers, many guests hopped over them to capture pictures. The characters on display were designed and created by David Aldridge Animations, who had also created a similar set of figures for a Postman Pat exhibit at Longley. Noddy and Big Ears would also feature as a walk-around character for pictures. Crinkly Bottom Fun Village was a large children's play area which was actually really fun. This may be the oddest children's play area you would ever visit though, with a host of ball pools, slides, tunnels and even some shops. The Smell Shop, 
gun factory, potty plan shop and more were featured in the area and was known to have Mr. and Mrs. Blobby stop in for a visit. The park also featured different live shows and people would come from all over the country to see and meet Mr. Blobby and get a picture with him. A year after opening, a new attraction was added called TV's Family Favourites, an indoor water ride, a slow moving attraction through some of the BBC's favourite children TV scene. The first scene was themed as Noel's house party, set before heading off into the attraction through a giant television set which smashed open as you passed through it. Inside, characters such as Andy Pandy and Bill and Ben the Flower Pot Man greeted you and the lighting effects gave you the look of a black and white TV. Other characters inside the ride included characters from the Magic Roundabout, Pink Panther, The Clangers and even Doctor Who before ending the final with another set from Noel's house party, this time showing Mr Blobby himself. All of this was set against the backdrop of Cricket House, which was famous for being the location of BBC sitcom To The Manor Born. And while it was featured on the logo for the park, the house was not even open to the public. Issues for the park started to emerge almost instantly. Part of the park had been allegedly built without full planning permission. The issue was dropped, but it was just the start of the park's problems. The park was also accused for the bad treatment of the elephants within the wildlife park, and the neighbours of the park constantly complained about the noise coming from the area, as well as the image for the Grade 1 listed building being blobbified. Despite this though, for its first years after opening, the park was incredibly popular. The first season alone had 500,000 guests visit. All this time, Noel Edmonds was pushing to build the replica of the Great House from the TV show, which was each time vetoed by the Somerset County Council. By the end of its second season, the park had welcomed over 1 million guests. By 1996 though, Mr Blobby was no longer as popular throughout the UK and the 1996 season was troubled. The park was rebranded as Cricket St. Thomas Wildlife Park and entry prices were lowered. Due to licensing constraints though, Mr. Blobby remained within the park. It wasn't until 1997 that it was decided Mr. Blobby would be removed to distance itself from the losing popularity of the Crinkly Bottom era. Mr. Blobby's house was closed and any signs related to Blobby were covered over. Noddy and Big Ears would become the more prominent mascots of the park and Noddy themed events were held. The Blobby house was left intact but just closed. The final room of the TV favourites ride was changed from Noel's house party to a scene featuring Noddy and Big Ears and the live shows within the park stopped performing. The end of this show is not quite working out the way I thought it would but anyway it's, it's an overworked expression when people say it's the end of an era but for BBC television, for the entertainment department, for me and possibly you it really is the end of an era. I hope your memory will be very kind to us after 169. Bye. The TV show was cancelled in 1999 after ratings continued to decline. The park would not recover from the financial difficulties left from the Crinkly Bottom era though, and the Taylor family trying to escape the shadow left by Mr Blobby put the estate on the market for sale for around £8 million. Not long later it was purchased by Warner Holidays and planned a grand revamp with the removal of all things Noddy related. The area became a hotel and wildlife park and Crinkly Bottom and Noddy were no more. The boat ride attraction was also closed and many of the staff took part to the attraction. In 2001 the ride was sold to Watermouth Castle in Ilfacombe and turned into an open air river ride and it still remains in operation today. Surprisingly though, this is not the end of the story for this location. This weird mix of hotel and safari continued throughout the 2000s. Warner Hotels were considering keeping Noddy for a while, but decided against it. The wildlife aspect continued into as late as 2009 before the wildlife park closed due to lack of revenue. After one more revamp to Cricket St. Thomas Lakes and Gardens lasting two years, the grounds eventually became only accessible to locals and guests of the hotel. Some of the wildlife enclosures still exist today abandoned on the grounds, but as of 2018, nearly everything remaining from the park has been removed, but only recently. Dunblobbin, Mr. Blobby's house, sat abandoned and nature took over for years in its original state. It sat slowly decaying and vandalised until it was finally demolished in 2014 after years sitting abandoned. This once popular photographed icon, remembered for many happy memories, became a sad, creepy, abandoned place of myth. 
This, though, was not the only instance of a Mr. Blobby theme park in the UK, and he was part of the Pleasurewood Hills theme park, as well as a second theme park in Lancashire, operating only for three months. But these are two whole different stories for a different time. The park was short-lived, but provided many happy memories for the people who visited it, including myself. When looking back at this odd and weird combination park, you might think it looks kind of terrible, but you need to remember that this was a huge part of British TV in the 90s. For a short two years, the park was a huge hit, providing childish fun for those who visited. An ultimately flawed concept from the start, which would have been impossible to maintain popularity. The sad state the park ended up in, though, was undeserved. It was a weird, unique park based on an iconic slice of the 90s that would be impossible to replicate and maintain. Well, actually, here at Crinkley Bottom, at Cricket St Thomas in Somerset, There's the whole village and a lot more. We've got Mr Blobby's house here, set in the hills above the village of Crinkley Bottom. I'm sitting on the veranda, uh, looking at the blobby fish and whatever, and uh, the great man is uh, inside at the moment. I think he's just changing. Uh, It's a a good place to come for the family this summer, and we've got a big party a week on Sunday to to officially open Crinkley Bottom at Cricket St Thomas. So anyone want to come along on July the 3rd, you can be blobbied. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Expedition Extinct. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe and let us know your memories of the park and the TV show. Follow us on Twitter for updates on future expeditions and we will see you next time. No hill too high, no desert too dry, no road too long, no tide too strong, no bridge too far, he's got a car. No slope too steep, no thought too deep, no spar too bright, no squeeze too tight, no tail too tall, no cat too cool, no waist too low, he'll give it a low. No end to his talents, no sense of death.